Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a foundation review. So the foundation that I'm going to be using is the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation Medium to Full Coverage, which is this one right here. I'm going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like. It's very cute. I really love the packaging. Um, it's like rose gold. It's just so pretty and I love how it looks. It goes with like my desk and all that. But yeah, I'm going to be trying out this foundation. I already primed my skin and I used the, to prime my face, I used the Elf Poreless Putty Primer and the Wet n Wild Primer Serum, which is the hydrating one right here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just pretty much go straight into it. The foundation shade that I got is FS 2.0, which is this one right here. And... The foundation is, I looked at other shades and they do look pretty yellow toned, okay? Um, it says, the it claims that it has a satin finish, which I'm kind of scared because I really had like really bad experiences with satin finish foundations. And then it also says that it's oil free, hydrating, long wear, lightweight formula, and it has vitamin E, I guess. Um, switchy. So yeah, um, I'm gonna shake it, and I am gonna be doing like a wear test. So I am gonna wear it throughout the day. It is, I believe it, like one probably in the afternoon. I'm not even sure. So I'm just gonna shake this up, and then yeah. Okay, and I'm just going to go in with my little color correcting um, little palette thing from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to do the same thing I did in my other video and apply the purple right under my eyes. I probably should have applied um, color correct. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to apply the color correct on these just because I am going to put foundation down there. Um, I don't usually put foundation under my eyes. So, yeah. And ignore my little eyeliner. It's so... Whatever. But, yeah. I'm just going to... Just go ahead and put this on my face. And then if you live in the Salem area or is close to Salem, just letting you guys know, this foundation does cost $8 at top to bottom. Um, online, it costs $12, I believe. So, yeah. I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. And I kind of did two pumps. And it does feel very um, creamy. And it does have like a crema scent. Um, me and my sister did notice that when I got it. So yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be blending this out with my L sponge. Um, I don't um, ever blend out my foundation. Well, I don't really ever blend out my foundation with a brush. I know some people do, so I don't know if you guys would like to see that too. But yeah, I'm gonna just blend this out. It does feel very like it does feel like a crema like i feel like i'm blending out a crema on my face like a thick crema like actual cream you know but i 
feel like it is giving me the coverage it claims to give, like medium to full coverage. So far, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. Um, usually with um, satin finish foundations, I feel like um, they really make me look dry so yeah i definitely believe it does do what it claims to do um well like the medium full coverage part okay i actually really like this So you guys can tell by my other video, I do color correct green and whatever I have acne and around my nose. And today I didn't color correct green right there because I want to see if this will cover up my redness. And I don't ever really put foundation. I stopped putting foundation under my eyes because I felt like it would just take everything up. So it does transfer onto my finger if I don't, if you don't set it, just letting you guys know. Um, I feel like the color does match me pretty well, like, it, might, it looks like kind of yellow on camera, I feel like, but I feel like it is matching me pretty good. I feel like I don't really like the feeling of it. Um, I don't know, it just feels like, like I'm putting, uh, I don't know if your parents have this crema, but I know a lot of Mexican parents have this crema. It's like a pink crema or like Ponce crema. It feels like I'm putting that on my face kind of and like blending it out with the sponge, which is just feels kind of weird, you know? And then I don't put foundation around here. So yeah. Um, I'm going to take whatever is the back of my hand and then just put it right on top of there. It doesn't say that it's buildable. So I'm not sure like if on their website it might say it is. Because I know sometimes the website, it does have like a better description than on the packaging. But on the packaging, it does not, anywhere on the packaging, it does not say that it's buildable. But I feel like it could be. I did watch reviews on this and then a lot of people said that it felt very lightweight. Um... I don't think it feels lightweight. I don't think so. I for sure don't think it feels lightweight. Um, like I feel it on my face, you know? So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna set everything. And then I will let you guys know if it does anything like with the powders or the concealers or the cream contour that I'm gonna do. So yeah, I will see you guys once I'm done with that, and yeah. Okay guys, so I finished off the rest of my face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like let you guys know what I think so far. Um, I am gonna continue and like go out throughout my day, and then I'm gonna be updating you guys on what my final thoughts are gonna be at the end of the day, you know? Um, but so far the foundation like um my concealer and like my contouring thing like they blended in so nicely like super nice like super 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 nice so yeah so far i really like that um i had said that it felt like a little like i could feel it on my face but 
I feel like that feeling kind of like faded away. I don't know if like the foundation, like as soon, I don't know if it's because when I set it with the setting spray, like it just like set into my skin or something, but yeah, um, it, it doesn't look like I have any dry patches and I feel like since I did use a hydrating primer, it doesn't look as satin as I thought it was going to look. So I'm very happy about that because it kind of looks more like it does look hydrating, you know? It does look very hydrating. So yeah. So satin finish. I feel like it could be satin finish if I wouldn't have used the hydrating primer. Um, oil free. I'm not even sure. I didn't even check that. Um, I know you could check that by using wax paper and then just applying a tiny bit amount of foundation on there. And then hydrating, yes, I feel like it is hydrating, you know. And I'm not sure what they used. I feel like they used like some crema or something. So yeah, I don't even know. But it says long wear. We're st we still have to check that out. And then lightweight formula. I feel like at first it was not feeling like that way once like when i was applying it it was not feeling that way but now i feel like it does feel like that and after i set it it does not transfer to my fingers just letting you guys know because i did let you guys know how when i was applying it and then like i touched it, it would transfer so yeah you would have to set this foundation if you don't want it tr to transfer um and then vitamin it has vitamin e so i don't know oh and then also the medium to full coverage i really think it does that that is very true i feel like it is kind of more on the full coverage side um i feel like if you like have acne and you were to just do like one lay one full layer and then just like do spot second layers on what wherever you have acne i feel like that would cover up the acne so good because i had these little two little zits right here and i feel like it covered it up really nicely like super nice but yeah i feel like my skin looks so good like i feel like it looks really good i'm gonna be asking my mom and my sisters you know just so that you guys can see so yeah um once my sister gets back from work i'm gonna ask her because she knows about makeup too so yeah i usually try to ask people that know more about makeup how about how my makeup looks because they know about makeup you know and then there's people that don't know about makeup and then like they're just like oh it looks like this and it looks like that and it's just like yeah but yeah guys um i will keep updating you guys and yeah i will see you guys in a while you fell down okay guys so it's currently 9 p.m earlier when i said i was doing my makeup like around 1 p.m it was actually 3 p.m i didn't realize that but yeah it's been like about five six hours since i did my makeup so so far i would like to say that i'm actually very satisfied with the foundation it looks very smooth like it melted the powder it's like it just looks super nice and smooth um one thing i am gonna say is that it did settle into my fine lines which i don't i do care but i don't care because it literally ha that literally happens to me with any foundation i wear but yeah that's literally the only thing and i did ask my sisters what they thought of it my sister my older sister did really like it like she really liked it because she wants to buy this foundation so i'm pretty sure she's she's like for sure gonna buy it now but then i asked my other sister and she said she really liked it as well like she said it looked like my skin and it looked really nice which i think 
I don't even know, like, but I don't know, but that's what she said. She said she really liked it. And yeah, like, I guess. And then I also wanted to mention the foundation on my skin does look, it somewhat does look satin, but I feel like since I primed my skin with a hydrating primer, it did it didn't set as satin as it would have i feel like if i wouldn't have used a hydrating primer be is what i mean but yeah um so far i feel like everything on here on the little list i feel like everything is true um i actually really like this foundation one thing i am gonna say is that i don't know if you guys could see on here but it does look pretty yellow and i feel like that's just the lighting that's making it look that way because it actually does not look yellow like the way it's looking on camera so i just want to let you guys know that and then for those of you that might be the similar skin tone as me i am the number fs 2.0 which is this right here i don't know if you guys could see it i'm gonna put it in front of the camera there we go fs 2.0 and yeah um i feel like it is medium to full coverage i feel like it is more on the full coverage side just because you know like it did cover up pretty good okay i'm not gonna lie and then um i do have pretty i would say i do have like normal to dry skin okay like my skin isn't my skin doesn't really get oily i feel like during the summer my around my nose it might get oily but not like a lot so yeah i just wanted to mention that in case you guys are wondering i feel like if you're oily skin um i feel like you guys should watch other reviews because i did watch other reviews on with people who had oily skin and the foundation did look really oily like towards the end of their day so i just wanted to point that out um but i would say if you have dry skin i would say for sure give it a try and i would say for sure to hide to prime with the hydrating primer um but other than that yeah i would say i really like this foundation it's still on pretty much everywhere i would say um right here in my nose i was like getting a little tiny bit oily like not that much and i did dab on it and it kind of did come off a little bit i just wanted to mention that so just so i let you guys know about that and yeah um it's not like transferring onto my finger you guys can see it's not like transferring onto there if i did rub it it would for sure i feel like but yeah it does not it doesn't feel like wet or like sticky or like tacky you guys know what i mean like some foundations will still feel like that even when you set them this one does not i'm for sure gonna continue um using this foundation like i feel like i really actually like it you know and just letting you guys know i do have like some veins that are, i should have showed you guys that because i do have some veins like around here and they're like pretty purple like they're pretty noticeable when i don't have makeup so i feel like i should have showed you guys that um because i feel like it did cover that up really well okay and then right here i didn't put any foundation so that's why you could still kind of see my veins but yeah um i would for sure say this is like gonna be around for a while this foundation is for sure gonna be around for a while beauty creations they did it with this foundation um lately i've been buying foundations and it's just been like trash like no i'm gonna zoom you guys all the way in so you guys could see my skin you could you could obviously see a little bit of redness right here since i told you guys that the foundation did kind of come off 
well actually kind of because i didn't even put that much foundation or well, actually i did put foundation on there i thought i did it i thought i put a concealer but yeah i did um but that's what the skin is looking like at the moment and i'm not mad at it you know i'm actually very happy so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys like the foundation you should if you guys live in the salem area or somewhere close top to bottom has the foundation for eight dollars okay the website has it for i believe twelve dollars and yeah they also have a primer but they don't have that one at top to bottom they only have the foundation at top to bottom so yeah just letting you guys know eight dollars at top to bottom make sure y'all go get it and yeah i will see you guys in my next video